Silent Hero Films. Click the link below. I'm going back to back. I got 40 minutes to charge, so I don't know how many videos I can get up, but I did see Tank Davis a couple of days ago. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I was in the gym all weekend. And uh, Tank Davis said, the man got to send him two Ferraris. That's why I told you. These men are ignorant. Tank is a baby daddy. He want two Ferraris? Two $500,000 cars? I have a saying. You never ask a million dollar, you never ask a man who's worth a million dollars for a $10 favor. You don't want to own a building there, Tank? You want two Ferraris? But, you know, Y'all don't get it. Who owns top rank? Bob Arum. You know why? Because y'all wanted two Ferraris. Who owns PBC? Al Heyman. You know why? Because y'all wanted two Ferraris. Who owns Matchroom? I think it's a family-owned business, right? Because y'all want two Ferraris. Y'all don't want equity. I said this in my last video. You can't be pro-black and not own any equity. That's called pro-broke. Broke. Yeah. I give y'all the game, but y'all follow your favorite celebrity, your favorite fighter. All y'all are ignorant. No PBC fighters getting a check to at least March 30th. Tank telling a prince or a king, I want two Ferraris. Jay-Z said, X5, we give those to our baby mamas. <laughs> that's a $70,000 car, right? So if that's a $70,000 car, you asking a Turkish prince and a king for $500,000 just to negotiate? When in soccer, you got to pay $30, $40 million just to negotiate and get out of the contract and then you negotiate the contract and then you negotiate the buy it costs 40 million just to get to the buyout situation you know what the dodgers had to pay to get yaka owner i don't know his name they had to pay and then buy out that's what they do in soccer i forget the terminology and tank won two ferraris he didn't say I want to be owner through perpetuity of that hotel, of the largest hotel. Don't they have like the largest hotel in Dubai or Saudi Arabia or something like that? He didn't say I want, uh, I want, um, I, I want payments forever through perpetuity in your oil industry. He didn't say that. You know what Triple G did? He got stock in the zone. He ain't fighting. He ain't got to fight. He probably going to fight one more time for $20 million. That's it. $10 million. Whatever it is. Win or lose, he don't care. He's a Hall of Famer. He's a silver medalist. He's He done done his job. Oh, he ain't fought nobody. But your promoter owns you everybody. <laughs> owns your entire body. Damn, I said. Let me rewind that because I want to. I want it to because you got to rhyme. You got to sound like Meek Mills to make sense to baby daddies. So you got to talk in uh, rhythmic cadences. Oh, Triple G ain't fought nobody, but your promoter owns your entire body. Bars, bars, bars. <laughs> Take man. Take. I don't know why you just don't reach out to me. Your trainer's in jail. Your, your promoter don't love you. You said Leonard Ellaby uh, bet against you. And Floyd Mayweather said, when you're talking to Floyd, you're talking to Al. He and him are one person. See, Al doesn't, I believe, allegedly, we're going to use the term allegedly. See, Al allegedly negotiates both sides, so he's never at fault. He puts things in place so the trickle down gets the blame. When you trickle down, it gets the blame, right? 
You don't think it's intentional? Nah, you don't. Uh, tank, man. It's time to grow up, man. That's basically a baby daddy say, you got to get me a, a, a pound of weed. That's basically, that's basically what you're saying. I need two birds. I need two birds and a Yukon. <laughs> and a Denali. You know what I mean? And I need a stash box. I need a stash box. You know what I mean? You got to cover it with, what, what do they use? Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, garlic? I don't know. I don't know what my cousins used to use, man. You know, I know all the stories. I ain't never sold a drug in my life, you know. But uh, I know the stories, getting on the Greyhound and this and that and yada, yada, yada. I don't know. But the point, that, that's basically what it sounds like. Hey, give me two birds and a Yukon so I can get on this 95 or catch this I-10 to, to Miami. M-I-A-O! Meanwhile, I'm conservatively racking it up because you because i'm going to explain something to you guys you're going to live longer being me than tank davis how do you know that friend antonio tarver is a youtuber sean porter is a youtuber zab judah is a youtuber uh gilbert arenas youtuber the list goes on and on man it don't stop to the break of dawn. Let me take that call when I get done with this video. <laughs> Who else? Steven Jackson, YouTuber. Matt Barnes, YouTuber. Shaquille O'Neal, YouTuber. Oh, YouTube, man, YouTube is for birds. Dan Raphael couldn't be a YouTuber because he's not, they talked about him too much because of his physical appearance. You know, Lance Ioli, Kevin Ioli couldn't do it. Not physically pleasing, you know what I mean? Y'all felt for the okie doke. I tried to lead y'all to the promised land. I was Moses. I'm black Moses. <laughs> I'm the leader. <laughs> I am literally a living example. But and shout out to the men that are actually the living example. So Tank, call me, man. I'm Black Moses, Tank. Let me lead you, man. Let me help you make that. I don't want no money from you. I don't want no money. Free consultation. Now, you give an Al and Floyd a percentage. Shit, I deserve a percentage. You still sound like a thug. You on parole or pro probation, excuse me. You on probation still sounding like a N-I-G-G-A. You'll wake up one day. And I already know the Tank fans gonna call me crazy. I'm a coon. Call me what you want. I'm about to go donate. I'm about to go serve my community for three hours at five o'clock. Yep. Literally, literally, physically, physically, go serve my community. You guys are more than welcome to come. Go to my Instagram. <laughs> more than welcome to come. These men are online. They fat. They fat online, disgusting. 80%, 80% of the YouTubers are fat. They out of shape. They need to be less talking, more working out. Less opinions, more calorie deficits you know what I'm saying I just came from the gym that's when my beard is dry you know but um I'm about to pick the kids up in an hour I got 35 minutes left on this charger and uh I'm just knocking these videos out today because I got time today I looked at my watch I got time today what was that rapper I, I saw that on Blue Bloods Live one day I don't know the rapper's name but uh you know who else said that uh what's his name Morris World TV. I, was, I watch him every blue moon. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Look at my watch. I got time today. Who am I going to talk about next? But Tank Davis, man. You basically sound like a, a dope dealer, man. I need two birds and a Yukon. <laughs> you need two Ferraris. You never ask a millionaire for a $10 favor, man. Grow up, man. Go listen to that Bishop Lamont song. Everybody go listen to Bishop Lamont. Grow up. 
and click the link below and go watch the two, two of the greatest films you'll probably ever see. Funded by me. Hey, Checks and Balances is about as pro-black as you can be. Go watch Checks and Balances. That is the most pro-black film in the history of cinema. Guaranteed. If I'm lying, go spend five, what is it, five dollars, ten dollars? Go watch it. It is the most pro-black film in the history. See, people talking what pro-black looks like. They not married. They fat. They got titties. How you taking advice from a man who wakes up every day with titties? And no family. No wife. They give you all this advice and ain't leading nobody. I'm just asking. Phone a friend. How to win a million dollars. Phone a friend. <laughs> you need a lifeline? Phone a baby daddy. I'm gone. Tank, wake up, man. Don't ask for no Ferraris, man. Ask for ownership, man. Ownership, man. Oh, but if he sell the Ferraris, he gonna do this. You know what the oil change is on the Ferrari? <laughs> it's a liability, man. I guess it's not. If It's not a liability, technically, because you're getting it for free. But the depreciation, I don't know what depreciation, but I, I don't own the Ferrari. I own the Bentley. You know what I mean? And it was good. It had some good curb appeal. You know what I mean? But the end of the day, it's not a Tesla, though. I got two Teslas for free. $225,000 worth of cars for free. Ask me how. Nah, y'all just gonna talk about Tank and, you know, talk about the niggadom. All y'all niggadoms. When y'all wake up when you're 45 and realize, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm not best friends with my best friend no more because he like Devin Haney, I like Tank. <laughs> I'm gold, man. Y'all have a great day. Peace. And peace.